To some, only the names, like Martin Chivers, the dangerous Tottenham centre forward. And Gordon Banks, England's goalkeeping hero from the 1966 World Cup. From over the border, two diminutive yet highly competitive players. Jimmy Johnston, the wing wizard from Celtic. And the Leeds United captain of the 1970s, Billy Bremner. Here's how the teams of 1971 lined up. Along with Banks, Bobby Moore, Alan Ball, Jeff Hurst and Martin Peters played in England's World Cup winning team. Peter Storey and Scotland's Frank McClintock played together in the Arsenal double side that season. Now they're in fierce competition. On curve. A broken. Green. Drop. Lead the ball. Peters. Laid off impossibly by Chivers, or rather Hurst. And Johnston. Cut out by Ball. This is number 10, Hurst. Waiting for Cooper. Oh, he sold it well. The final ball was wasted. Curran, McFarlane to ball. Oh, the ball took a long time. It's Cormac. And Gordon Banks, very deliberate about that. As the ball was hanging in the air, he spit on his hands to make sure. Alan Ball for England, breaking his lead. Corner. And England then prepared to use defence as a springboard for attack. First corner of the match. And Ball will take it. Chivers. Peters. Hands. And he's given the goal. He's given a goal. Was the ball over the line when it was handled? And certainly was going in the net. Now just watch Chivers beat the defence. Clearly out jumps them. Clark doesn't get there. Peters handled on the line. And the referee says that's a goal. And indeed the ball was going in. And it is up to the referee to decide that. 1-0 to England with nine minutes gone. And Johnston. Got Greg outside. Johnston. but it's 1-1 and two astonishing goals in the space of less than two minutes one each one goal scored after nine minutes the Scottish equaliser after 11 Story and Greg Rob a bit slow then Brogan oh he's only set it up for Chivers Oh, yes! And what a superb piece of finishing by Chivers with his left foot. But Rob too slow, lost possession. Again, a problem here for Brogan, under pressure. And look at that for finishing. That is the way Martin Chivers has been scoring this season. 29 minutes gone, England in the lead again. The two goals scored by the Spurs players. Lee, Cooper in support. And Lee behind him. 
Peters. Given. Four. Oh, Given. And he got the touch. Chivers, the goalkeeper off the line, he took the chance so well. Two brilliantly taken goals for Chivers, 3-1 to England. Scoring. Peters. Number three is Cooper. defence is frail to say the least to create situations like that. Green. Cormac. Oh, he's pushed. Rob was pushed and the referees ignored it. Rob was undoubtedly pushed. Paul for Lee who's really played so well on Wednesday against Wales and burned himself up again today. He's really worked tremendously hard. Up shot, first touch, an ironic cheer from the crowd, but it merely underlines how difficult it is to come straight on the pitch and get the field straight away. More. And England with three really good finishes up front now in Clark. Shivers. And Hurst. And Clark's there! He's not offside! a penalty, the referee's not given it, and ball again, over the top, falling for a player to come to the near post, Clark, Peters, one can only say what a goal that might have been, beautifully laid back by Clark, superbly struck by Peters, it was just inches away. And again, ball for him. Hurst. Story. The ball. That's it. England win the British Championship. They've gone through this home international series unbeaten and produced their best display by far in beating Scotland by three goals to one. That England victory prompted manager Sir Alf Ramsey to say the game was one of the finest internationals I'd seen. I've never seen anything better in my life than...